Pope Francis on the 22nd of March 2020 said in these days of trial while humanity trembles at the threat of the pandemic i would like to propose to all christians to unite their voices to heaven let us be united as catholics fully engaged in the battle against the coronavirus pandemic armed with our greatest weapon the holy rosary in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen holy mary mother of mercy and of hope graciously hear our prayers i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell and on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for an increase in devotion to holy mary mother of god virgin most powerful virgin most merciful healer of the sick comforter of the afflicted hope of the hopeless and comforter of the dying we pray hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen today let us contemplate on the five sorrowful mysteries the first sorrowful mystery the agony in the garden jesus agonized in the garden of gethsemane he knew he was starting down the road that would lead to his torture and death the next day in his anguish he turned to his father in prayer let us who desperately desire an end to this pandemic imitate his example and turn to god in prayer let us have true sorrow for our sins and cry to god for his mercy and then let us submit to the father's will as jesus did saying not my will but thine be done our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil during this mystery we shall pray for church leaders and governments facing the challenge of the corona virus holy mary mother of good counsel bless and protect our holy father pope francis may your holy spirit the paraclete guide him to be astute in leadership wise in dealing with the world humble in shepherding his flock and courageous in carrying out the will of god during the corona virus pandemic holy mary mother of good counsel bless and protect the cardinals bishops priests 
deacons, religious sisters, seminarians, and all clergy. Holy Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, strengthen our church leaders with fortitude and give them the endurance to pursue their holy vocations faithfully. Holy Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, pray that kings, queens, presidents and government leaders in all countries act courageously and trust God in their decision-making in curbing the spread of the coronavirus. Holy Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, be with all civil leaders making decisions that affect the lives and futures of our families, communities and the world at large. Holy Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, help all those in leadership to communicate their messages regarding the coronavirus clearly, truthfully and honestly with each other and the public. Holy Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, pray that world leaders will put the needs of their people ahead of their own agendas and foster peace and goodwill. Holy Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, help all leaders in business to collaborate in the provision of masks, protective clothing, sanitizers, ventilators, and even finance to help governments cope with the needs of the coronavirus patients. Holy Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, guide civil groups to work wholeheartedly in aiding all who need food, shelter, medical assistance, and basic needs. Holy Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, may all church and civil leaders encourage all their members and constituents to obey and support the directives of their governments. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. The Second Sorrowful Mystery The Scourging at the Pillar 700 years before Christ, Isaiah wrote about the Messiah. But he was pierced for our sins, crushed for our iniquity. He bore the punishment that makes us whole, and by his wounds we were healed. Let us remember how much the innocent and pure Son of God suffered for us as we cry out to him for healing of our world during this pandemic. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. During this mystery, we shall pray for the intention of addressing our actions through repentance and forgiveness. Holy Mary, Mother of Divine Grace, help our religious who have gone astray in their commitment to the Lord. Touch their hearts and awaken their consciences and bring their hearts back to you. Holy Mary, Mother of Divine Grace, we pray for all governments and leaders to realize that they are not all-powerful, but that there is a higher power they must turn to and acknowledge that they do not have all the answers. Holy Mary, Mother of Divine Grace, help us to realize that in many ways we have slipped in our faithfulness and allowed secular and materialistic values to become part of our lifestyle. Holy Mary, Mother of Divine Grace, under the influence of TV and the press and being modern, we have let our guard slip and we allowed greed, unbridled ambition and selfishness to infiltrate our thinking and doing. Holy Mary, Mother of Divine Grace, pray for the conversion of sinners, those who do not believe in Jesus, 
and those who do not know Jesus as Savior and Lord. Holy Mary, Mother of Divine Grace, on behalf of all, we repent and regret the sin of abortion which claims so many lives and has done so long before the coronavirus. We ask for God's forgiveness and mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of Divine Grace, the coronavirus has devastated individuals and families, but so has violence and abuse, racism, xenophobia, discrimination, marginalization of refugees, migrants, and even the homeless. We ask for forgiveness. Holy Mary, Mother of Divine Grace, we turn to you in this time of fear and uncertainty. We plead for your mercy and truth to dwell in us and to show us how to face the challenges posed by the coronavirus. Holy Mary, Mother of Divine Grace, give us the strength and wisdom to stand together in the unity with the whole world to overcome this coronavirus pandemic. Holy Mary, Mother of Divine Grace, cover our planet with the mantle of your protection, love and care. We feel helpless in the face of this virus and turn to you, our Mother, in our distress. We are your children. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. The Roman soldiers mocked and spat on Jesus, the pure and innocent saviour of the world, and crowned the king of kings with piercing thorns. Yet he opened not his mouth. May those who suffer during this pandemic be given the courage to unite their suffering to Christ for the conversion and salvation of the all. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. During this mystery, we shall pray to bless and protect all medical staff and support teams dealing with the coronavirus. Holy Mary, Virgin Most Powerful, bless and guide the doctors and nurses as they care for those affected by the coronavirus. Grant them the courage and love to fulfill their duties with diligence and without prejudice. Holy Mary, Virgin Most Powerful, multiply the supplies of medical equipment needed for them to do their vital work. Holy Mary, Virgin Most Powerful, inspire scientists in their research to develop better tests to diagnose the coronavirus, identifying protocols to eliminate the disease spread and the development of an effective vaccine for a lasting cure. Holy Mary, Virgin Most Powerful, bless all volunteers who care and serve coronavirus patients and their families. Holy Mary, Virgin Most Powerful, strengthen all the essential service staff in order to maintain the basic services required through lockdowns imposed by the coronavirus. Holy Mary, Virgin Most Powerful, be with the leaders of all nations. Give them the foresight to make the correct decisions to protect their countries of the coronavirus. Holy Mary, Virgin Most Powerful, strengthen the health systems throughout the world, especially in the world's poorest countries to fight the coronavirus. Holy Mary, Virgin Most Powerful, help rich nations protect those most at risk 
especially in poor communities who are struggling to stop the coronavirus spreading. Holy Mary, Virgin Most Powerful, bless all those sharing their financial resources, helping all those affected by the coronavirus to receive aid. Holy Mary, Virgin Most Powerful, bless all those who pray and fast, uniting their petitions to God to combat the coronavirus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Jesus carried the instrument of his torture, the tool of his executioners, upon the tone and the bloody flesh of his back. Yet he knows his suffering isn't over. The worst is yet to come. Lord, help each of us have the patience to suffer the isolation that we must practice in order to mitigate this pandemic and eventually bring it to an end. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. During this mystery, we shall pray for families inflicted by the coronavirus. Holy Mary, comforter of the afflicted, stand vigil with family and friends at the sick beds of all those infected by the coronavirus. Holy Mary, comforter of the afflicted, give strength and courage to all coronavirus patients who have tested positive and are in self-isolation. Holy Mary, comforter of the afflicted, have mercy on coronavirus patients who seek your protection. Holy Mary, comforter of the afflicted, protect the elderly and all those with compromised immune systems. Holy Mary, comforter of the afflicted, strengthen and guide the heads of households of coronavirus patients in their efforts to sustain their families. Holy Mary, comforter of the afflicted, Intercede for all those infected with the coronavirus and lead them to Jesus, your Son. Holy Mary, comforter of the afflicted, be the loving companion of the coronavirus patients who are alone with no one to comfort or support them. Holy Mary, comforter of the afflicted, help families to adjust to being homebound, encouraging them to find comfort in the Lord. Holy Mary, comforter of the afflicted, comfort those whose livelihoods may be threatened because of losing their jobs due to the coronavirus. Holy Mary, comforter of the afflicted, unite families and communities in daily mass, prayers and fasting to break the coronavirus. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion. Jesus was stripped of his garments and nailed to the cross, where he hung in excruciating pain, each breath a monumental effort. He willingly surrendered his life for the eternal souls of all, including his killers, loving them even until his final breath. Let us pray for the medical personnel who risk their lives to care for those who could pass a potentially deadly disease onto them, and help us all to persevere in prayer 
to bring this pandemic to an end. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. During this mystery, we shall pray for comforting survivors and victims of the coronavirus. Holy Mary, Mother of Mercy, help all the families who have lost their loved ones during the coronavirus pandemic. Holy Mary, Mother of Mercy, we pray for all those who at this moment have a loved one dying from the coronavirus. Holy Mary, Mother of Mercy, grant eternal rest to all doctors, nurses and other caregivers who have died sacrificing their lives in attending to their coronavirus patients. Holy Mary, Mother of Mercy, be with the families that have just lost their loved ones to the coronavirus. Console their hearts. Take the dearly departed by the hand into your kingdom. Holy Mary, Mother of Mercy, help those who are suffering in fear, dying, afraid, alone without family. Holy Mary, Mother of Mercy, console, strengthen and encourage us in this time of fear, doubt and confusion caused by the coronavirus pandemic. Holy Mary, Mother of Mercy, be with the families of those who are sick or who have died. As they worry and grieve, defend them from illness and despair. May they know your peace. Holy Mary, Mother of Mercy, we pray for the eternal rest of all those who have died from the virus. May the Lord of Mercy forgive their sins. They have suffered so much and may they now rest in peace. Holy Mary, Mother of Mercy, we pray for all those dying this day. Let them now not die in despair or fear. Mother Mary, be there for them whether they know you or not. Holy Mary, Mother of Mercy, we ask that you accept the petitions of this rosary, present them to the Father of Mercy, and ask Jesus, your Son, to strengthen us by the power of the Spirit to face this pandemic with quiet faith, trust, and confidence, knowing that you are on our side. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, Poor banished children of Eve, to you do we send up our sighs, moaning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after this I exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of the faithfully departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Cast into hell Satan 
and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Memorare Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Prayer to the Virgin Mary Holy Mother of God, we turn to you for protection. Listen to our prayers and help us in our needs. Glorious and Blessed Virgin, save from every danger those afflicted with the coronavirus. Mother of Mercy, Healer of the Sick, grant that all for whom we pray will be coronavirus survivors. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we beseech you, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy lasting health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary Ever-Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enter into the joy of eternal happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Anima Christi, Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malignant enemy, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. The Divine Praises Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be a holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Prayer of Thanksgiving Father in heaven, creator of all and source of all goodness and love, look upon us with your infinite kindness and receive our thanks for all the spiritual and temporal blessings that you bestow on each of us. We are mindful that because of the sin committed against you by our first parents in the Garden of Eden, we no longer are perfect reflections of your image and likeness. Because of our human condition, we suffer diseases of both mind and body. In your infinite kindness and mercy, you have given us your own mother as Queen of Heaven and our hope. We offer thanks for your gift of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who intercedes for us as we pray for a cure of the coronavirus. In your kindness and mercy, you give us skilled and dedicated doctors, scientists and researchers who work hard in the pursuit of a cure for the coronavirus. For their lives, 
we thank you, O Lord. In your kindness and mercy, you give loving and compassionate caregivers in both hospitals and homes to those who suffer from the coronavirus. For their lives, we thank you, O Lord. In your kindness and mercy, you give supportive family and friends to those who suffer from the coronavirus. For their lives, we thank you, O Lord. In your kindness and mercy, O Lord, you have heard our prayers and cured the coronavirus of many. For these blessings, we thank you, O Lord. In your kindness and mercy, O Lord, you have heard our prayers and have placed in remission the coronavirus of many. For these blessings, we thank you, O Lord. In your kindness and mercy, O Lord, you have heard our prayers and have granted significant achievement in the coronavirus treatment of many. For these blessings, we thank you, O Lord. In your kindness and mercy, O Lord, you promise the gift of eternal salvation to those who take up their cross and follow your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For this opportunity, we thank you, O Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.